Hi everyone, my name's Mike Sherry. I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. Today, I'm showing you, in my honest opinion, and I believe some of yours, because the last, uh, last year when I did a video on this camper for 2020, it became viral with over half a million views. But this travel trailer that I'm about to show you today is the ideal couples travel trailer. This is the all new 2021 Crossroads Sunset Trail 253 rear bathroom. This features a super slide, weighs under 5,600 pounds, so you can tow this with nearly any pickup truck out in the market and a lot of the bigger SUVs are gonna tow this just fine. It's not some crazy 35 foot long trailer, so it's gonna be able to uh, get in and out of those tight spots at the campground and at the fuel up stations and things of that sort. It's built extremely well and it's just super practical i love it they've had this floor plan for over 10 years and it's always been our best selling sunset trail couples travel trailer so let's jump into it starts off new for 2021's the three quarter front cap painted exterior graphics up here so they're going to look good for years and years to come right and then the bottom quarter so the top three quarters is fiberglass the bottom quarter is going to be a rock guard protector for the front end of this this comes standard with power tongue jack up front here so it's power up and power down also has a built-in light so when you go to unhook maybe uh, late at night if you get to the campground you're going to be able to see also what's cool about this power tongue jack it has an adjustable foot here so no longer do you have to bring those four by four blocks of wood to get it jacked up high enough to get off your pool vehicle you can then simply drop the foot down by loosening the, the tractor pin right there Two propane bottles come full here uh, at the dealership along with a brand new battery. A lot of dealers call that prep and they call that prep because they try to charge you for it, right? We at Pulse Sherry RVs, we just call it part of the sale. It's something that we complete to uh, complete the sale. We do not charge you for it. A Zamp Solar Prep there. You can plug in your Zamp Solar panel and that'll trickle charge your battery. One slide on this travel trailer has the super slide, so it's gonna be three foot deep. That opens up the floor space interior, three more extra feet, which I'll show you here in a second. Super nice. All right, I want you to pay attention here. This is the baggage door. I'm doing this with one hand. One latch and a magnetic catch. The importance of that is when you're loading stuff up in this area, your hands are gonna be full, right? It's like just when you go to the grocery and you got all the grocery bags and you're trying to get in the house or your door, you know, you barely have a hand to use. So that's the same idea here and they've thought about that when they've designed that baggage door. Good pass-through storage all the way through the other side. This is gonna be eight foot, foot in length. So you can fit your long fishing poles here, maybe uh, some paddles for kayaks and things of that sort. Also, what I always like to look at in the compartments is your uh, construction here. So you can see this trailer is aluminum construction. Aluminum tube construction, welded at the seams, nice clean welds as well. Uh, that is how they get this trailer under 5,600 pounds. Also has a light in here to help you out to see. And then this is new for 2021. It's a nice clean compartment here. This is where you're going to uh, do your water type stuff. So your water fill here for your freshwater tanks here, your city water connections here. You can route those hoses up through here and it has this catch basin here. Uh, to help drain the excess water maybe leaking from the hoses or anything like that and then this third port here is your black tank flush if you've ever had a stinky black tank your toilet tank right in your camper you really appreciate that because no longer do you have to drag the hose all the way through your camper and stick it down the toilet you can just put it right in there and that's going to clean out your black tank and then also up here a battery disconnect you know who would have thought they're so needed on travel trailers when you're done using it you can turn this dude off and all the battery uh 12 volt items will be shut off to preserve your battery all right three foot deep slide already went over that tinted windows on this so not only are they going to provide privacy because they're nice limo tent but also they also provide protection from the hot sun going in there and heating up the camper on a super hot day 30 amp power, 125 volt. Comes with a spare tire there. You can check out our website, but also do some easy clickable links uh, that you can just click on. So new last year was the ladder to get up onto the roof. And what's always made Sunset Trail stand out 
from the competition is this extreme roof curvature. That's not my camera. That roof is really curved extreme. That is going to keep the water rolling off the top of this travel trailer, not sitting up there. When water sits on top of trailers, it eventually over the years will find its way into your trailer, causing thousands of dollars of damage. So it's nice having that curvature roof. Also comes prep for a backup monitor system there. Has an outside spray port right here. Uh, it comes with the hose. You can wash off, uh, you know, your feet and things of that sort. Spray the kids, get them all riled up. Uh, you have your power awning here. I've got it all the way out today. It's a nice, beautiful day uh, to get the power awning. This right here is probably one of the main reasons a lot of people buy this trailer. It has an outside kitchen and a mom and pop trailer. And it's the big outside kitchen, right? So typically you find the size outside kitchen in a bunkhouse room, but not on this. So this outside kitchen is going to come with this stainless steel grill cooktop. I always call this one the weenie roaster. I just imagine that just full of hot dogs uh, could really do that well. And it's propane there. It uh, has a big dorm style refrigerator here. Storage for beverages in the door there. A little bit of a cabinet up here. Also has a light if you're out here under at night. And then uh, of course sink. Here's that hose I was telling you for your spray port. And the sink does have a drain in it, which is important. Um, a lot of outside kitchens, there's no drain for the sink. You dump out a tub. Also, the, the countertop here is an, uh, a metal type material. I think it's aluminum uh, that's going to be resistant to, uh, you know, the elements where a lot of companies are just using a cheap wood type uh, countertop. It's nice having that metal. And that's also what sits on, the grill sits on there. Uh, coming down the side has the new Dometic water heater that's gas or electric. Uh, has a hookups out here for television. If you want to put a TV out on a picnic table, it's got power and the output on your coaxial. Now there's going to be a tent up on the roof uh, to pick up those free over there stations. Two axles on this, alloy wheels, both axles. It has the secure stance axles where the axles are spread further apart. That allows for greater stability, which equals easier towing while going down the road. Since the trails have the wide door, a lot of trailers I walk in, I gotta, gotta go sideways and I'm not that big of a guy uh, to get through the door, but this has the nice wide door, which allows for the big solid step by Lippert. It's a triple step entry. Notice it hits the ground. If you're unfamiliar with these, check out the videos on them. They're super innovative. They've been out in the industry for, I don't know, three, four years now. And fold up into the camper when you're storing it so they're out of the elements, both during storage and travel. Again, this is the 253RB Zamp Solar Ready. I showed you that on the front there. This has the Camp Easy package, which is power tongue jack. I showed you power on and I showed you. And it also has the power stabilizing jacks in all four corners. And then this also comes with the Extreme Weather Package, which is up, upgraded insulation on in the walls, a bigger furnace, and a heated and enclosed underbelly. Let's take a look at that underbelly before we go inside. You always gotta check that out, all right? So you notice it's nice, clean, uh, all insulated and there's it's actually heat ducts down in there to keep it heated. Uh, three year warranty on this which is the industry's best warranty. I've done a video on this warranty and I'm super impressed with it. I have never been a part of a company that puts as strong of a warranty as what Crossroads and Keystone, if you're familiar with the Keystone warranty, it's the same warranty, Crossroads and Keystone warranty. Uh, so maybe check out my YouTube video on that. Also look here, just caught this my caught this with my eye. Little spot you can wrap your dog's leash around there. So all right, grab handle helps us to get inside the camper. And as we walk in to our right is a nice spot to hang maybe beach towels or a coat. And then to our left is a walk-in pantry with a light that I forgot to turn on. But walk-in pantry has three spots of storage. You can put a trash can down here on the floor or maybe a vacuum cleaner. Uh, and also has an electrical outlet in here. So if you got one of those cordless vacuums, you can plug it in, in here. All right, so as we walk in, we walk into the entertainment living room. You have your couch here. Uh, this couch is gonna fold out to a uh, sleep two people. It's a queen size fold out sleeper sofa that is not like the sleeper sofas of old. This is a comfortable one. I tell you, you sleep on six to eight inches of memory foam on this and there's not a single metal bar in the middle of your back. I promise you that. So I know you've all experienced that in the hotels. Uh, but I do want to mention there's an option here so you can get the theater seats that recline. 
Uh, if you like that option, we have some of those in stock at the moment. I've been in. Uh, so across from the couch, direct viewing of the TV, 40 inch Jensen television in this one. Uh, nice flat screen television. It comes from the factory, so notice how neatly it fits in the hole. So you don't have to go buy your TV and try to mount it, and then it doesn't fit right, you know. Uh, so AM, FM, Bluetooth, uh, USB input, HDMI, HDMI put output, all on this Jensen radio. So the same company that makes a TV makes a radio. So that's going to play music inside and outside, right? And then here's your command center. This is where, you know, I run the slide in and out. I run the awning in and out. I check the levels of my different tanks so they're not overflowing into the camper, right? I turn my water heater on, uh, whether on electric or gas. Uh, as I mentioned, it does both right there. And then we have three drawers. And I want to show you here in the drawers, nice deep drawers here. And they're metal ball, um, in a ball bearing glided drawer. So they're easy in and out. It's not wood on wood or plastic. Uh, glides there uh, so that's nice and then some even more storage down through there all right so we get towards the center of the trailer we have our kitchen off to the left and dinette booth here uh, off to the right it's the oversized dinette booth that does come down for extra sleeping so how this one's equipped you could sleep six people if you needed to uh, sleep four very comfortably and if you just want to sleep two you can do it in this as well so uh, dinette booth here and then across from here we have uh, yeah this is the new Norcold 12 volt refrigerator this is an option on the sunset trail the 12 volt refrigerator uh, so check that out and don't confuse that with the gas or electric refrigerator because that is a Norcold 12 volter. Um, stainless steel microwave and oven down here. It's a gas oven with three burners on the top up here. And then the, the kitchen countertop here is a rock type material. It's man-made rock, but it's really nice, uniform, has the backsplash behind the sink and behind the stove. And then the sink cover here has the, the corrugated spot there and then also has the plastic one over here that I got on now. Uh, so you got the plastic on one side, so you can use this as maybe a serving area. And this one's metal over here, so you can put your hot pan right on top of that. Um, good storage above here. And then, yeah, let's go back here. So we're in the very back most of the trailer. There's a pocket sliding door. Gets us into the bathroom, which people absolutely love in this because it's a bathroom you can use. It's big enough to use. It has a stand-up shower in it with a glass around, so you don't have to worry about, you know, shower curtains or anything. And it has a skylight in here. I'm going to get in here. I'm six foot tall, and my head is not inside of the skylight. Like, there's a lot of them, to give you an idea. So, um, also in here, you have your stool. Uh, plenty of room to you know sit down and actually use it also plenty of room to get ready in here or uh, maybe unwind for the day to undress uh this is your sink right here has good countertop space so you can put you know some stuff on the counter and then if you need electric uh it's right there uh, mirrored medicine cabinet and then uh there's a little bit of storage. No, actually, this is a lot of storage right here. So this is really deep. This is at least probably two and a half foot deep, uh, three foot wide, I would say. And then it has a shelf up there. So a lot of extra space for, you know, all that toilet paper you probably bought during COVID. Uh, you can put that in there. And then if you needed some more space here for towels and stuff, or maybe you bought a lot of the toilet paper, there's an extra pantry in here uh, for, for that stuff there. All right, so that's three quarters of this trailer we'll go to the front bedroom and then uh we'll have shown you the whole trailer but before we get there so remember that crown roof i showed you on the outside it's the same on the inside right so super crown roof that creates a less boxy feel compared if you have a flat ceiling in this so it's a rounded ceiling uh really opens it up and makes it feel good and also gives you a higher interior height all right so two pocket doors up here we're in the front most of the trailer now and this is cool so they've added a king bed in here where before it was a queen bed so king bed in here still have wardrobes they managed to still get some wardrobes on both sides where you can hang up your clothes and then it has a, a framed in shelf over top a light a skylight that opens up for ventilation two opening windows that one's your exit window and then uh here another hanging up closet and then check out this space 
So on both sides of the bed has these nightstands up here, kind of where your head is, with power, both USB. Now this is just the same on the other side of the bed, so don't be thinking, well, that's my side of the bed, because it's just the same. So and then you got another shelf down there. It's a great spot to charge your phones, and uh, maybe some of you have those breathing machines. A uh, good spot to put those, so. So if you haven't been able to tell, I get excited about this trailer. I like it. I've really had a lot of fun uh, demonstrating this trailer over the years. We've had it for 10 years, this, this, this floor plan anyways, with Crossroads Sunset Trail. So it's been a true joy to sell. And a lot of our customers really love this travel trailer. So if this is maybe something for you, check us out. I'm going to post some links below with current pricing and availability, uh, as well as some finance options. We can get you... Uh, uh, finance options without you ever even have to come into the store. You can apply online and um, see if you qualify for financing. Uh, and I'll just tell you this, I get customers time and time again tell me, Mike, I was unaware of how inexpensive the payments could be on a new travel trailer. So I'll leave that at that. Also, if you're looking to trade up or down or sideways, whatever, we would love the opportunity to work that out with you. We've got a trade-in form right on our website where we can say, hey, this is what your trade-in's worth without without us ever physically being able to see. It's a very innovative form, so check that out as well. And I've talked way longer than I normally do, so I'm signing out. Everyone have a great day.